Hey everybody, it's DJ B and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Darren and I'm a model horse artist. In this video, I wanted to take you through a week in my life of being a full-time artist. So I wake myself up as early as I possibly can and get right to it first thing in the morning. I'm pasteling some color onto this Smart Chicolina Custom. Unfortunately, I ended up stripping this paint job so I put a lot of work into it this particular week, but I actually restarted this model entirely So that's slightly disappointing. This is my process for all of my customs Then I gave him a little bit of a seal I switched gears and worked on some base coating on one of the commissions I had. My husband says goodbye before he goes to work and I keep going, putting some gesso into the crevices of this particular winter song and then I decided to peel off some of the masking on that Smart Chick custom as well. Then I make myself some breakfast. My favorite cereal is Life. I take that down to the computer to catch up on some emails. Today I need to do some printing as well, so I set up my big Roland printer to get going for the day. So I spend some time doing the design work and getting the jobs that I need to print sent to the printer. Cut off those sheets when they are done. I also decided to print my monthly sticker club labels, address labels, and and little note cards. And then I went back to that Smart Chick custom and was just working on the masking. This was my first time attempting masking and this method didn't work because I ended up stripping the horse. <laughs> then I make myself some lunch and I eat lunch. I needed to head into town to do my part-time work, but I decided to take the recycling as well. So some crappy footage of me driving. I went to the recycle depot and then off to the vet clinic. I do part-time work for them, helping with euthanasia cards of the animals that have passed. Then I stopped at Walmart on my way home. I found some briar goodies in Walmart, which was fun. And someone opened that. Some of these toys are so cute. Um, yeah, I ended up with this Dalmatian. Shh, he's so cute. So then I unpack all of the groceries when I get back and do my workout for the day. I have to work out, I have to do stuff or I will be crippled. So I took a shower after the workout. Then we got ready for dinner and had some spaghetti. And I worked on my iPad while watching some trash TV. I completed this Marwari drawing and a curly horse drawing. So that was successful. Then I had a bowl of popcorn and got to watch TV for the wind down. Tuesday, I woke up bright and early again. It had snowed, unfortunately. It was a beautiful day, but the snow was less than ideal. I worked on two commission sticker designs. Sent my husband off for the day. He has to go to work most days. I get to hang out at home. And then I had some breakfast and I finished those drawings. Took me a couple hours to do both of them, but sent them for the final approval. Also this goat that was for a product label. Then I went back to my computer to check on some emails and things. I test printed, had some lunch, put some contacts in. 
It's always a journey. And I headed out the door. It was a nice day, so I decided to go see my horse. And I took him on a little walk with my mom. It's always a nice way to spend time with the horses and get them to stretch their legs. Then I did a little bit of brushing while he had his green. Just messing around with him, making him go into the deep snow a little bit, but oh my gosh, he's so cute. Then I headed back home and my sister-in-law brought her dogs over to our backyard so that was super nice surprise. She got this puppy and then we ate dinner while Chance did work and I went back to sticker printing and cutting and those were the stickers that I finished the previous night so that's pretty cool. I stayed up a little bit too late this night, so I took a shower and headed straight to bed. Wednesday, we're back in action. Started off the morning with breakfast this time. Some days I do, some days I don't. Making my husband do the dishes while I eat my breakfast. And then I had to fix my hair because it was craziness. Say goodbye. I did my makeup so that I could do some filming. And I checked the monthly sticker club labels. Got a ring at the door. It was my parcel. Then I switched gears, did a little more painting on this smart chick. It's such a shame that that paint job didn't work out. Ended up with two parcels. So I decided to film the unboxing of said two parcels. So I like to film in my little stairway here and it's super fun. Hey everybody, it's DJ V and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Darren. These were the models that I received and then I ate some lunch, dealt with the dishes, put contacts in my eyeballs, and proceeded to go and see my horse again. So today is more than a walk. We were gonna work on just a little bit of training. It's moving away from me. We've been working on this Spanish walk, which is so cute. He's doing so good. We've also been working on the beginnings of the lie down, which is just me tapping on his belly until he lowers his head, and he is catching on to that really quickly as well, being a good boy. I also messed around a little bit with some target training, which I haven't done a ton of, but he caught on to it really quickly, and I was very pleased. Considering he was at free will here, he did really, really well. He can't decide if he should touch the target or if he should look away to receive the treat. Then I also did a tiny bit of bow practice. Then gave everyone their daily grain before heading out to go back home. Super nice day. Then when I got home, I rearranged my collection a little bit to fit in those newbies that I received. And I cleaned up the bubble wrap and packaging from the unboxing that I did. Decided to take a shower because my hair was disgusting and washed it which involves me doing crazy hair care routine. Then I headed back to the studio to continue to paint. And 
and then husband came home and we had tacos. And then back to the studio to take away some more. I'm working on the paint here hours at a time in between other things. Then we made some popcorn and watched some Formula One for heading off to bed. Thursday, I was not feeling my oats. Today's order of business was stickers, so I needed to laminate and cut all of these. I have to cut individual lamination for them and run them through the laminator and then run them back through the machine for cutting. So it takes some time. Here's me throwing those back into the machine so that it can suck them back up and cut them. Then I had some breakfast once again. FedEx was at my door and sure enough, parcel. So this was some hoodie orders that I received online. So I needed to print those designs as well. Then I processed some of my sticker orders that I received. Continued to cut those hoodie designs, which are cut out onto a big flat sheet, and then I have to weed the design out of the sheet. So this is me doing that. It takes some time, but then I had all of the hoodie designs that were ordered. And then my mom stopped by to help with the monthly sticker club and she brought lunch. She does it every month for me, cutting, processing of all of those stickers. So she came by to help. And then I did the hoodie orders while she worked. So this is my press that I use to press my own clothing. taken away at the orders. I packaged up these orders and wrote some thank you cards, processed everything, and then I proceeded to package all of the orders that I received. So I had a little mini sale and I received a couple orders for that. So I was packaging all of those guys up based on the orders and what each person ordered. As well as some of these hoodies were going to be shipped, so I put those in my little clothing mailer. Printed a shipping label and got them ready to go. Then I updated my flawed sticker selection. Husband came back home for leftover dinner and I continued with this goat label design and finished him up. He looks really cool. Proceeded to do my workout and convince husband to do with me. We struggled through this big time. Pamela Reef is crazy. Then I took a shower, TV time, and bedtime. Friday, got ready for my day, sent him off, ate some breakfast, continued on the computer with some more admin things, sticker things, etc. And then I decided I wanted to do a little bit of sculpting. So I heated up my monster clay and got my little station ready and proceeded to sculpt a horse. This is what I came up with. Had some soup for lunch and fixed my hair up to get ready to go into town. I had to take some of these parcels to the post office and those sticker orders as well. And I bought $200 worth of stamps, which is that. It's crazy. When I got home, I wanted to do a little bit of sculpting, keep on trend, so I proceeded to work a little bit on some different projects that I had laying around. So I was working on this sham, an original, 
had a little cry, a little gratitude cry, which I often do, and continued to sculpt. I feel very lucky to do what I do, and sometimes it gets to me when I'm mid progress. I ate pizza for dinner and forced him to go on a walk with me. This is our little pond at the end of the street. I like to get out and go for little walks when we can. Ton of deer out this particular evening and look at those mountains. Beautiful. This is me dangerously hacksawing the nose off of this horse, not paying attention to what I was doing. <laughs> I felt the need to cut a, a nose off a horse and then go back and do more emails. Do a workout. Took a shower, got ready for bed, TV, and popcorn. Saturday, got out of bed, fixed my hair, watered my plants, made sure that they were all healthy, had some breakfast, this time with husband. And I decided to purge some of my briars randomly. Then the next order of business was to paint my Horgs and Forgs was the time in which I did this. So I was having a great day because the Horgs and Forgs were so much fun. Took a break for lunch and continued painting these guys. I painted these guys straight through. Like that's all I did was paint Horgs and Forgs. And then ate dinner, went for a walk. Got back home, continued to paint Horgs and Forks basically like the entire day. And I thought it was just hilarious. This was the best thing I ever came up with. And I finished them all in one day. Then I had an ice cream sandwich, took a hot tub, took a shower, had some popcorn, TV, and went to bed. Sunday. I was ready to get ready. Doing my hair is like a full-time job, I swear. Add some breakfast, and then we decided to go for groceries together, and that's super helpful when we get to go out and do that chore kind of weekend stuff. This frog cup was hilarious. These crazy things happening in superstores, so I took videos of them. And we got all of our groceries for the next little while. Got home, had some lunch. I received a donation request, so I packaged all of those guys up. I need to do a few more emails. And because it was Sunday, I photographed some of those models that I wanted to sell off. I lined them all up, took photos of them, and uploaded them to my website. So this was my Sunday activity. Then I took some time to cook dinner. Husband photobombing in the background, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is a not super healthy, but super tasty meal that is very nostalgic for me. I sold some of my briars pretty much upon listing them. So I packaged some of those guys up. got those boxes ready to go, put all my fragile labels on them, and that was the stack of stuff that needed to go out. And then took it easy for the rest of the night, had some popcorn, TV time, and good night. Ready to go all over again on Monday. I thought this was super interesting. It was very strange to videotape everything that I do in a week. Thank you so much for watching. This has been DJB. Happy customizing.